Ladies and gentlemen, today we're visiting Paradise on Earth. It's time for Shangri-La. We are leaving the old town of Lijiang by bus. Off to new adventures. After checking our hotel, we are ready to explore the old town. Till 2001, this place was called Zongdian, but now it owes its name to the fictional land in James Hilton's novel. Shangri-La is described as a mystical paradise on Earth. They even build the world's biggest praying wheel. But in 2014, a disaster happened. A huge fire destroyed a big part of the wooden houses. Well, they are rebuilding everything very fast, but it's still less busy as it used to be. Some of the tourists that are coming even recognize us from Lijiang. How cool is that? Well, we wait till evening falls. And then... I know this is probably very touristy, but it still makes me very happy. It all goes on till darkness takes over, or your husband calls where you are, of course. Next day we're off to an early start. Good morning. Mm. Good morning, everyone. Today we're up for our hike into the mountains and we're going to stay over at a Tibetan family so I'm looking forward to that and I hope fingers crossed please cross your fingers with me that the weather will stay nice come on let's walk yes we arrived in the middle of raining season which doesn't hold us down bye bye Shangri-La and hello to the world of peace and quiet Hmm. So they're all different prayers or all Yes, different, different. What does it mean? Ah, it means hundreds of things. You can explain, you know. This one word, Om, there is a book for Om. The monks or masters who is learned about these things for their lives, whole life sometimes. And they can explain very nicely. So, to listen to them, you get some idea. What does it mean? I must honestly say that I had a different image in my mind about this village. But we got a very warm welcome at our homestay. And we arrived just in time. When the rain stops, we take a closer look at our home for tonight. Notice the big traditional kitchen, which is not used very often. They said they mainly build this house because most of their neighbors are getting new houses too. Well, all in all, it's quite impressive and very well made. But the last room is most exciting of all. 
Yeah, under behind the two trees. Yeah? Yeah. That's a good spot? Yeah. Right. They have a super huge house, but it's really new. So one thing they're missing is a toilet. So the toilet, ladies and gentlemen, is over there. Right after those green things. We're going to enjoy the toilet now. Live toilet action here. Yeah. You already have an audience of one. One cow. Really big house. No toilet. Toilet. One thing that's good about a toilet like this is that you have an amazing view. Hey, check this out. My shoes were so wet, now I'm wearing uh, Sanders, uh, Sanders flip-flops. Yep, it's truly raining season. But in a Tibetan house like this, there is always a spot for you around the stove. And good morning everyone! Time for a traditional Tibetan breakfast. Take some yak butter tea, some tsamba, mix in sugar and let your right hand do the work. A great start of the day, full of calories for the second part of our journey. We say goodbye to grandpa and hit the road. One day in Kilkenny in September of the year Our hurling boys were coming home from Cork and we did cheer the People filled the streets at night all wearing black and gold They looked like giant bumblebees all swarming down the road Sing! Up Kilkenny, up the cats, hooray the boys are coming back So raise a flag up to the sky, wave the gold. We have lots of fun during our hike And before we know it, we reach our goal for today The Yak Fields Calm wetlands on the roof of the world. Well, you can imagine we're hungry after an adventure like this. After a beer and lots, lots of Tibetan food, we say goodbye to Shangri-La. For us, you really have been paradise. See you next week. Doeg!